Good morning. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you for being part of the morning dew today. And I believe that the Lord is glorified in all that you are and in all that you do in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, today I would make this to be the last part of Thanksgiving 2020. And I've been looking through since we started doing the Thanksgiving. It's been one week and a day or two or so. But just looking back through all the sessions we've had for Thanksgiving, today I am prompted to thank God for something that you and I will agree. Truly, truly, it has happened in 2020. I want us to take time and thank God for the lessons that we have learned in 2020. Hmm. I know this one is a personal one, but I think at some point I would even just wish to hear your feedback on the same looking at the year 2020 with all that has been with all that has happened with all that has occurred what is the lesson you're taking home or what are the lessons you're taking home because trust you me no season comes and goes every season comes and serves a purpose and the beauty of going through seasons is when we go through seasons and come to the other side having learned lessons because if we do not learn a lesson from a season, then it was a wasted season, sorry to say. But we thank God that through the seasons that we have gone through in this year, we have learned numerous lessons. We have learned so much about ourselves. We have learned so much about the people in our lives. We have learned so much about building relationships and mending relationships. We have learned so much, even concerning our own character. You know, there are times, unless you go through a certain thing or a certain season whatsoever, you may never understand you deeper. You may never know you so well. But seasons in life help us learn lessons about even the way we are, the way we conduct our lives, and what we need to do, and what we need to strengthen. I mean, what we need to adjust at the end of the day. So the seasons have come. The year is coming to an end, but we thank God because through the seasons, we have learned lessons, valuable lessons, lessons that will take us on and on and on in this life. Because trust you me, everything that you have gone through, is it a relationship that was messed up? You might look and say, I was hurt. I was misused. I was heartbroken. I was rejected. But when you take that particular situation right now and look back, what is the lesson you can pick from it and say, through this uh, relationship that didn't work, this is what I learned. And this is my take home. Today I have just come, as much as it's Thanksgiving, it is more of asking us, what is your take home for 2020? What is your take home for this year? What lesson have you learned? What are you taking with yourself and say, through 2020, I came out with this, I understood this, I learned this, I grew in this, I developed in this. Is it a time that you had to learn a new skill? Is it the time that you, you needed to learn a new hobby? Is it the time that you needed to learn even how to relate with people? I remember when this season started, the COVID season, there was a day I, I, I mentioned this to a few friends, and I think I even did a post on Facebook. And, and I was saying, in as much as this whole thing is not a good thing, no, it is not. But I am glad that even in these seasons, there is so much positivity that is going to come out more than the negative that we are seeing or we were seeing. So I know there are people who never knew even how to. Parenting was an issue. I mean, all you knew is that you take care of your kids, you pay school fees, and they go to school over and out. But the kids have been with you for how many months? Actually, almost bitter part of the year. You have had to learn parenting. And so you're looking back and you're a better parent, you know. You are a better child. You are a better spouse. You are a better daughter or a son. You are a better person, a better neighbor. You are better than the year began. You look back and say, this year I have learned something. I am better than I was when the year began. 
And so today we will take time and just give thanks to the Lord for every lesson we have learned through 2020. Some lessons have been had, I must admit. Not every lesson has been rosy and cozy and celebrating. I know some lessons have been hard and tough. You know those lessons you're like, really God? Really now? But yes, some were very tough, but they were lessons to make us better. Trust you me, you are better than you were when the year began because of what you have gone through. Why? Because you learned something new. You understood something new. You digested things in a different dimension. Your mindset was changed on a few things. Your mind was renewed, you know? So when all is said and done, look back and thank God that 2020, Haikwenda Bure, it did not go to waste. You learned lessons. You learned something valuable that will keep you, that will better you, that will, I mean, just bring out an amazing you. Maybe even people around you can attest to that already, that there is so much change in you. There is so much, I mean, you're just not the same guy, not the same lady. Things have changed. People can see, maybe. Why? Because the seasons you went through brought out something and that thing is a lesson a life lesson that will keep you going people that have learned new skills in this season things they never knew they could do you know they never knew they could do that but they chose to learn you know and they are better than they be when they began the year so look back at this year and thank god for those lessons point out this those lessons look through those lessons and just give thanks to god that lord irrespective my year has been fruitful because I have learned so much. I am not getting out of this empty. I am getting out. I'm ending 2020 fulfilled because of the many lessons. I have been challenged. I have been taught. I've been encouraged. I am better. And for that reason, we give God thanks in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you this morning. Thank you so much for every lesson that we have learned in this year. Yes, we agree some lessons have been tough, some lessons have been hard, but through it all, we are better because of the lessons that this season has brought us, that this year has brought us. And Lord, I pray that in every lesson we have learned through 2020, that it will better our years to come and our days to come. We will always look back at 2020 as a reference year, that in this year, this is what the Lord taught me, or this is what that season taught me. This is what came out of that season in the name of Jesus Christ. And so we thank you for everyone and for every valuable lesson that you have taught us. We give you thanks, Jehovah, because indeed, through it all and through the seasons, we come out a better people. And so we thank you, Lord, and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Shalom. Thank you so much once again for being part of this. I know tomorrow is the last day of the month. And the year, oh, Jesus Christ. And I'm just, um, I, I think tomorrow we will just, we will end the year in a different way. We'll just take time and pray. That is what I feel in my heart. Tomorrow we'll just take time and pray, even as the Spirit will lead us. If you won't feel you want us to pray with you, you can always um, share your, your prayer needs in the comment section. Or you can get to DM me at Nashami Wangara, that is on Facebook, and we can just take time to pray together. But I want us tomorrow to just take time and just pray together, even as we end 2020 and get ready to, to welcome 2021. And the Lord is good. Oh, he is good. It has been a blessing. Thank you so much. The Lord keep you. The Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Let's end the year tomorrow together in the name of the Lord Jesus.